what's up you guys, I'm 45 here, I'm back with Belladonna, and I'm loving this game, hating it, actually mostly loving it, because this is a lovely, lovely, lovely art style. Anyway, let's get back to this. It's a mortar, and a pestle too. They seem to belong here, but I'll remember where they are in case I need them another time. Anyways, more of my drink, I had to get more of my drink, my throat is hurting. A big and heavy candlestick. It looks like there used to be two of them. The label says Dr. Wolfram von Trauerschloss. So this is the man who brings the dead back to life. He looks as though he would have been handsome once. <laughs> it's warm. I haven't realized until now just how cold my body is. And before I go into the journal page... The name on the plaque is Lucas von Trauerschloss. This must be the ashes of Wolfram's son. Man, that's... There's a journal page! I didn't notice it. I'm glad I didn't miss it. The doctor is losing it. He's just scribbling down nonsense by now. What will he do if he ever acts on his wild suspicions? Holy fudge! I don't want to read! Did I get into a reading game and not just a point and click game, dab nabbit? It is clear to me what I must do. I am now convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that my wife is unfaithful. They still hide it very well, her and that housemaid. But my logical mind tells me where there is no other explanation. For countless hours I have pondered this situation, and the more I think about it, the more certain I, I become that my judgment is correct. The countless hours are, are hours. What? I could have the countless hours or hours I could have spent thinking about my work. It is clear to me that I will never be able to fully concentrate on my puzzle, on my puzzles at hand as long as my thoughts keep, keep creeping back to my wife and her new lover. This is the very reason that my research is progressing at such an agonizingly slow pace. It is clear to me that what I must do, Belladon herself is the person who I want back into my life, so I cannot pu punish her. That leaves her lover, the young maid. She is unimportant, and it is she that must go. I could fire her and throw her out of the household, but I fear this would not resolve anything. The two of them would still know of each other, and they could write secret forbidden love letters or meet up at the secluded rendezvous. rendezvous. No, it is clear to me that what I must do, I must get rid of the maid for good. A plan is already taking form in my head. In the greenhouse out back, I heap a lot of plants and herbs. One of those specimens I have is called Deadly Nightshade, an in interestingly, an interesting plant with many medical uses, but it's renown. Ren renown? Renown? What? Comes from the fact that it ex extract is lethal already at small doses. Preparing a powder from the poisonous plant is not at all problematic. Getting the victim to ingest the dose will be a challenge, but I expect to have ample opportunity. They're, they're not aware I know the truth and thus suspect nothing. The maid will fall ill and within a short time she will die of seemingly natural causes. No one will be the wiser concerning, no one will be the wiser concerning the true circumstances of her demise. Deadly Nightshade is merely the common name for this plant. Its scientific name is Troba Belladonna. Its sim the symmetry strikes me as beautiful. The poor girl strayed too close to the Belladonna, and that would be the death of her. Okay, wonderful play on words, person. Very lovely. Okay, I cannot click on the chairs. Journal page! More reading! Lovely. The story yeah, is so sad. I don't even know if I want to read this one. My wife took the wayward maid's death harder than I had expected, further confirming my suspicions that they were indeed having a secretive love affair. She is passionate and irrational, raging all day and crying all night. Where a few months ago the cold shroud of silence lay over our house, now there is the wailing shrieks of bedlam. One should think that... 
she would be used to dealing with the grief of lost loved ones by now. However, in all sincerity, I don't believe she was ever as affected by the death of our only son as I was. I also suspect that she might have guessed I had something to do with the her lover's demise. If Dryer sh Shush! If she wouldn't talk to me, me before now, she yells and barks at me every moment. I hardly leave my laboratory these days. I even have a small bed down here where I sleep with the few hours when I'm not working. All the while she prowls around upstairs like a hungry tiger and attacks me over futile nitpicks as soon as I poke my head out. What happened to the love we shared when we were married? We were going to live together in her inherited castle. We were going to have children together. Now all I get is abuse and a cold bed in the basement. All I want is for things to go back to the way they were before all this. Dude. All this sadness and junk. <gasps> Holy buddy. Okay. Yeah. It's the body of Dr. Von Trauerschloss. He's dead. And what's more, he's been murdered. But who could have done this? There must be some clues around. Um, candlestick the missing is the candlestick. Weapon. And it seems to be the murder weapon. There's something in his pocket. It's a small, delicate key. He kept it in the pocket closest whoa, to his wait, heart. Wait, wait, um, Before I go I on with any- unlocks. Okay. Before I go on any further, I want to make um, a quick suggestion. What if I'm not the wife? And what if the wife murdered him? But what if I am the body of the dead girl? Because seeing how old he looked, but also remembering the times back then, um, I'm guessing that he, his wife may be in her 30s. And he may be in his 50s or, or 40s. His wife may be in her early 40s to late 30s. And uh, she's, she might not look that young, but the young lover, apparently, is a young girl. The bo dead body, or the main character that I'm playing as, looks like a girl. A very young lady. So, 20s, maybe. But, what if the character I'm playing as is not the dead wife? Although, it could be a, a, a suggestion. What if he already brought back the wife, but feeling sorry for it? Or feeling sorry for her brought back the lover too. I don't know. It could be the truth or not. Or what if the wife didn't actually die? What if it was all just a, a game or something? I don't know. That's just my suggestion. I don't know. I'm jumbled up. Yeah. There's a letter clutched in his hand. His final words are a clue left by the killer. Over the course of a sleepless night, I've thought through my next course of action ev from every possible angle, where it is indeed time for me to take action again. Even with the troublesome maid out of the way, I see little chance of getting my be old Belladonna back. If anything, she's worse now than ever before. But I have no idea. I have an idea. I have... Yeah. One that kept me awake all night. I have come very far in my research by now. I can now fairly predictably great living creatures that aren't stable enough to not spontaneously die again. This is consistent through my through many different species of animal. I have noticed something peculiar though. The returned creatures seem strangely vacant, sluggish. It is as if although the body is brought back to life, the soul is forever lost. The creation is perfectly functional and responds to to stimuli just as if it Yeah was truly alive, but the mysterious spark of will seems to be missing. I know no no other way to describe the phenomenon. This bothered me before, but now I cannot help to think that to think that she this might suit my needs. Isn't it precisely the strong will of my wife that is causing all of my problems? There is no need to be poetic with flowers this time. I'm in short supply of lethal substances in the laboratory, and poison suits my needs as well as it leaves no physical trauma on the body. I will still need to make in incisions in the corpse to replace internal organs with clockwork parts, but stitching together surgical cuts is much 
strengthen Fleur than trying to repair unhealed bodily damage. The integrity of her visage is the priority. To extinguish Belladonna's current life and give her a new one. To bring her body and mind back, mind, soul, and free will. A beautiful, obedient autom automaton. A mechanical doll with all the functionality of a woman, but who is responsive and does what she's told. And that, that, my dear future reader, would truly be something. I think it is high time I tried to the vivification process on a human subject. Okay, I'm wrong. It's not the... It's not the human. I'm not the maid. I am my own person. And with this... I don't know. But, like, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my gaming stuff. Of course I do more gaming stuff and all that jazz. But I'll see you guys in the next video and have a nice day.